There's like, there's 60 of us. <laughs> yeah, we, we are rocking on Zoom tonight, you guys. Hello, happy Tuesday. It's great to see your faces. Thank you so much for getting on with us tonight. If you're joining us live, we love, love, love when you join us live. We know it's not possible for everybody. So if you're watching the recording back, thank you for tuning in so that we can bring you up to speed with everything that you need to know this week. Um, for those of you that are new or newer, new or newer, I'm Melissa Gratz in conjunction with Tammy Frazier, Andrea Hatch, and Anna Hughes. We're the superstar directors that uh, spearhead, steamroll, spearhead the Tuesday night call and community. And we are really grateful for you. And thank you so much for being here. Um, hold on, let me do some. I need to do some muting. Say, you know, if you make me co-host, I can probably help you with that. So that way you don't have to stop what you're doing. I don't huh. know. Well, just a, just a luckily, suggestion. Luckily, it's, uh, yeah, no, that's fine. That's fine. Perfect. Thank you. Um, okay. We have a lot to cover tonight. A lot to cover. So um, we're going to dive in and get started. As you, most of you know, the Lord of the Rings collection is the super secret special LTO that counts for July's 20-year incentive. So you have through the end of this month and all of August. I say all of August with a tiny bit of hesitation just because you know we get a little nervous toward the end of an LTO being offered. Will supplies still be available? Um, I'm... I'm certain that since he took into account that this would need to be available for everybody to earn their 20 year. Um, so I don't expect a fast or unexpected sellout, but I would say if you are gunning for the incentive and the LTO is important to you so that you can cross off July, probably work on selling that and focusing on that sooner than later. Um, you can sell any combination of three Lord of the Rings collection items. So it can be one warmer and two Lord of the Rings bars. It could be three Lord of the Rings warmers. It could be three Lord of the Rings bars. Any combination of three items from that collection count as you getting three items of that super secret LTO. Okay. The, uh, <clears throat> there's two wax collections for fall. There is the Gordy Goodness which is available now on early access. It actually was available starting yesterday. Um, <clears throat> and it's available for customers starting August 12th. So Gordy goodness, not to be confused with the Harvest Collection early access, which you will have early access to that Harvest Harvest Wax Collection August 1st through August 31st, and it will go on sale September 1st for customers. Gordy Goodness, Jackie McManus, will you tell us what five cents are in the Gordy Goodness and give us a little quick scent preview? Yep. So here's the bag that it comes in. And what I like about these collections is that Scentsy actually gives you the scent notes so you don't get just Jack notes, which if you watch my YouTube, you know. We've got pumpkin roll, which is quintessential, smells just like um, a cinnamon roll with some pumpkin. My favorite is Hollow Harvest. It smells like hot man and a pumpkin. Um, we've got pumpkin sticky bun, which is a little different than pumpkin roll. It's less cinnamon, more pumpkin. We've got Berry Good Pumpkin, say that five times fast. This is your berries. It smells like strawberry jam, cinnamon and pumpkin. It is really good warming. I said hot man and a pumpkin. I did, Tammy. <laughs> and then Spiced and Spirited is really interesting. It's pumpkin and booze. It's very, very good. And I've warmed all five and all of them are Jackie approved. I love it. Jackie, that is like the fast track to the Gordy collection and everybody's favorite. Nobody on this call is going to forget hot man and a pumpkin. It's, it's just not going to happen. So thank you for that. Anna, big shoes to fill, uh, with your comedy routine. You have the harvest collection, oh, the harvest wax collection. Could you tell us about it? 
you know, I, we got these at SFR and I have not smelled them since. So you're going to get my, I don't know. I think I smelled them in the moment when I was just excited because they were playing Let's Get Loud. But um, apple spice season, gift shop smell. Um, I, I don't know. I'm not as, I'm not, I'm not these Jack's, I'm not these Jack's descriptions. Uh, Peaks and Pines, which I remember I do like because I like earthy smells and that is nice. So it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a very snowy spruce, but uh, a little more balanced. There's a little bit better depth on this one than that. So um, sparkling spiced citrus. I would say this is a, if you liked spiced orange harvest, it's kind of similar. It's it's a good fall citrus scent. Um, we have berry apple shortbread. Oh, it's purple, but it's not. I don't like usually like bakery scents, but this definitely smells like shortbread. I would say it's light on the berry and apple. Yeah, it's not it's not an overly heavy bakery scent. And then we have cinnamon woods. Oh, that's I like that. That's not a really heavy cinnamon cinnamon scent at all. Like it's not it's not super cinnamony like uh like welcome home or clove and cinnamon or anything like that yeah not a heavy cinnamon scent so nice fall <laughs> ones they're not none of them are super overwhelming i will say that this one definitely does stand out um as very different from the rest of them and that's the peaks and pines yep yeah i think they'll be easy to sell because none of them are like super intense so if you have a customer or customers that love notes of pumpkin, the Gordy goodness is going to be where you're going to lean. And if you have people that just want some harvest sense of the season, the harvest wax collection is, is where to go. So that kind of gives you some differentiation between those two collections. Remember Gordy goodness, early access is out. Now it goes on sale, August 12th harvest wax collection that Anna just showcased Early access is August 1st through the 31st. It goes on sale September 1st. Cool? Okay. Coming up. So we are one day away from August 1st. August 1st begins transition month. Okay. We're going to talk about transition here in a minute. But what the August 1st also means is it is the start of the brand new incentive period. The cheers to 20 years incentive period will still run through the end of this year. So anybody that's working toward that by now, you know, this it's 12 months runs through December with overlap, but fresh start for everybody. August 1st is the new incentive period. We will likely see the qualification points, how to achieve the incentive, what we need to do to work our butts off to get to Greece um, we will see that at midnight Pacific time, August 1st, that will be on the workstation. So, uh, 3 AM Eastern time on August 1st. So in true fashion, there will probably be a group of us that are awake at midnight Pacific or 3 AM so that we can see what the warmer of the month is going to be for September. And so that we can see what the qualification period and what the qualifications are going to look like for that new incentive. But when those qualifications come out, take a moment to digest them. We will be covering that next Tuesday. We will be going over the qualifications, the tracker, the points, what it means. We will be explaining that as we typically do every single incentive season. But you can plan on we will be having discussion around the incentive next week but those qualifications should drop the moment the workstation changes for October, for August 1st. Um, okay, transition supplies. Let's talk about transition month and what that means. Transition month means it is the month prior to a new catalog dropping. So September 1st, the fall winter catalog will launch. It will run from September 1st through January 31st. Many of you know this, but for our fabulous tailors and any other new consultants that we have on the call, I want to just be clear, the fall winter catalog will run from September 1st through January 31st, six months. 
but August is considered the transition month. Couple things happens. The majority of the spring summer catalog will be 10% off. Okay, majority. That excludes perfect Sensi systems. So that's any of the systems where it's two warmers and six bars or two, two wh whatever is labeled a perfect Sensi, um, that will be, that's that's excluded. Also excluded is, is anything licensed that's in the catalog, the charitable cause product, and whiff boxes. Those are not 10% off. Those four. And the scent and warmer of the month for August is already 10% off. It is not an additional 10% off. It is just 10% off. Okay. So what that means is if somebody purchases a $15 pack of, of six cent circles from you, and normally it's $15, it'll be 10% off in August. So that six pack of scent circles will cost $13.50 instead of $15. Okay. Now, what I always like to say in a 10% off transition month is because everything is 10% off and your customers get to experience 10% off discounts, that means you have to work 10% more to have your paycheck be about the same or what you're accustomed to. Because 10% off will become 10% of your PRV will be going to the, it being a discount month. So just keeping that in mind, I always tell myself I have to work 10% harder in transition months to make up for the 10% discount that my customers will be getting um, in that month. So just a good rule of thumb. Um, there is two different kits, and I don't want there to be confusion. There's two different kits that are being offered during transition month. There is the transition kit and then the new season sales kit. Transition kit, what? New season sales kit is actually four different kits. Correct. Yes. There's yes. Two kits, yes. There's, there's, there's two types. There's two types of kits. The right. transition kit, which we talked about this last Tuesday, it's $63. It gives you three pads of product tear off sheets. All of the testers that are not returned, that all of the testers that are returning to the catalog or are new for fall, winter, and when we just did a count of the current catalog, only 25 fragrances are staying from this catalog and transitioning into the fall winter catalog. So that means that 55 fragrances are going away out of this catalog. And so those 55 testers will be what come in the transition kit, okay? So you get the product tear off sheets, which, <laughs> I have one right here. This, for anybody that doesn't know what these are, it's this, it, it's this sheet. It's front and back. It's basically your products at a glance and it has all the fragrances listed. It's like your catalog at a glance, but it's on one long piece of paper that's double-sided. These come in pads of 50 and in the transition set, you get three pads of these. I like using these because I do a lot of events in the fall. And this is what I like to label and put in my bags with purchases so that people can have all of our products at a glance. This is also a really good tool um, if you don't want to purchase a ton of catalogs to hand out because you might be more free to give out these sheets be, instead of giving out a full catalog. But these are handy. These are handy. Now, everybody that you ask will tell you what their preferred tools for transition are. Some people don't buy these tear-off sheets at all. Some people don't buy catalogs at all and only buy these tear-off sheets. You have to discover what the best bang for your buck is based on what you like to give out, pass out, what you're willing to give out and pass out, okay? But in that transition kit for $63, you'll get the 55 testers, three pads of product tear-off sheets, a package of catalogs, and I just looked at mine today. And why am I forgetting what else comes in there? The product training oh, guide. The product training guide, and then the 10 rub and smell stickers for the 10 brand new release fragrances. 
So even though I told you 55 fragrances are coming in wax testers, the rub and smell stickers are only for the 10 brand new releases. And those are in the transition kit as well. Those get You'll get the this, this sheets just like you do with the warmer of the month. You'll get a whole package of each scent. Yes. Yes. Of the rub and smell stickers, 72 of them. Yes. Okay. Um, And then Scentsy will upload. Yes, that's exactly what I want, Mary Jane. That is, so you guys, hold on. Let me spotlight Mary Jane really quickly so that you can see this up close. Uh, Mary Jane, hold that up. Okay. The fall, winter, and where did you find that particular one? Um, it's on Together We Scent. Perfect. Okay. And we will get it. Turn it upside down. Now it's, nope, turn it again. Now it's right side up. Um, what this is, everybody, is these are the scent descriptions. So you can see like where it says balsam spice. You would put the rub and smell sticker for balsam spice right above that scent description. Do you have them done? Oh, perfect. So these are the rub and smell stickers. You would put those for the corresponding 10 new fragrances onto this sheet. This sheet prints two to a page and then you just cut the page in half. And this is your rub and smell sticker cheat sheet for which you ask any of us veterans, we love them. We love them. I pass them out like candy. So awesome. Thank you, Mary Jane. Okay. Um, so that all those those 10 also come in the transition set. Now, I said there's two different types of kits, the transition sales kit, which I just told you about. And then there is the new season sales kits, which gives you like if you're doing the home new season sales kit, it's going to give you one of is it, I don't even know that it's one of each. It's a it's a few of the brand new products for the new fall winter catalog. It's not every single um, brand brand new item or product. Four warmers and a, a the new tabletop fan diffuser. Thank you, Robin. And I believe that one's one hundred and ninety five dollars for that season sales kit. And then they go down in price from there. Um, there's a soul. There's solely a fragrance one. There's a body one, and there's a clean one. So. You can uh, you can opt into any or none of those new season sales kits. It just puts the product in your hands ahead of time. Of course, on September 1st, you will be able to purchase these products a la carte. On uh, You won't have to have them in a new season sales kit. The reason you'd want a new season sales kit, though, is if you are gunning for the 20-year incentive, August's box to check off is purchasing at least one of the new season sales kits. So either the wax, the body, the clean, or the home, depending on your price preference and your product preference, purchasing one of those four kits. But that is not to be confused with the transition kit that I told you about that has the catalogs and the scent stickers. That is not what counts as a new season sales kit. Clear as mud? Okay. If that's not clear, drop it in the chat and Anna will clarify any of any of the confusion so that I don't belabor it anymore. Okay. Um, tomorrow is end of month live with Dan. So that will be at 8 p.m. Eastern time on Dan Orchard's Scentsy Facebook page. It is always shared to our group pages. So I know Cassie or Cindy always share that live when it goes live on to Together We Sent. Anna, I don't know if you have anybody or if you share that live over on Flash. Um, so you can either watch it from Dan's page or you can watch it right from either of the group pages. Um, but that will be at 8 p.m. And that is the CEO going through, here's all of the things that we get to look forward to that's coming in August and any announcements that he might have secret or otherwise. Okay. Um, part of your blackout bingo, and we're going to talk about bingo here in just a second, but part of your blackout bonus bingo for this week is not only getting on tonight's Zoom call, but it's also watching the end of month live with Dan tomorrow. So even if you don't watch it live, but you catch the recording, that counts. Uh, but just putting that little plug in there. Um, tomorrow, Wednesday, uh, like we do every Wednesday, Wednesday, 10 a.m. Eastern, 7 a.m. Pacific, we will be running our virtual work hours. 
So it is a Zoom just like this, where anybody that's available can pop on. We all do work, but we hang out with each other. It's kind of like, we, we call it virtual cubicle because it's kind of like we're all sitting in an office and we roll our chair backwards and, you know, ask a question real quick and then roll our chair back to our desk and get back to work. It's just a really great way to not, uh, not be working alone. I'm plugging it so hard tonight because you're going to want to get on cubicle tomorrow. That's all. Okay. I'll leave that right there. There is an opportunity during the day and there is also an opportunity in the evening. Aubrey has graciously been running our evening cubicle that begins at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 p.m. Yes, 4 yeah. p.m. Uh, uh, Pacific time. And so you have two options. You can get on both. You can get on neither. Totally up to you. But just plugging it, you'd probably want to get on tomorrow if you can. Um, okay. Anna, can you tell us r really quickly about why fundraising is so important in the month of August or why it's awesome in the month of August? Well, if you didn't catch the video, I had a video that I <clears throat> did simultaneously for both team pages about fundraisers and what I'm doing this month. And I will say again, I'll reiterate this fundraising is a major component of how I have earned top tier trips every year with these incentives. So if you're looking to earn an incentive and you want to get a lot of incentive points, fundraisers are a great way to do it. Yes, you're donating your commission, but in August, it's especially um, advantageous to do it because with that 10% off, you can roll that that money into a bigger donation. So where I would normally do a cent circle fundraiser and charge $20 for a pack of cent circles that only costs me 15, that cent circle pack drops to 1350 in August. And because it drops to 1350 and we're still charging that $20 flat fee, I'm able to give them eight to $9 back per pack. And that makes them, um, get a 40 to 45% return on every purchase that people are making. And when you tell them those kinds of numbers, when they see that grid of this many per participants selling this many packs and they see thousands of dollars in that spot, it definitely speaks volumes and it definitely gets people interested. And it's not just about the amount of money that you can get back or the number of cents incentive points that you earn in the process. Cause typically every dollar that you sell is one incentive point. I'm not saying that that's definitely what's happening again. It's probably what's happening again. But the biggest thing is, is when you do incentives and when you do fundraisers, you are bringing new people into your funnel that will benefit your business all season long. So these are people that you get to follow up with who may have just purchased a pack of scent circles to support their friend's kid doing dance. But in the end, you follow up with that person, ask them how their scent circles are, and then they're interested in buying other things from you, possibly hosting with you, possibly joining your team. And those sorts of things benefit your business all season long per person. So each participant brings in 10 people. You're, you're looking at something that's going to significantly boost your business. So do it in August while it's super attractive to these, these groups that are looking for money and you're going to be able to uh, really ride that out. Yep. And you had posted, like you said, and we'll bump this on both pages. You posted kind of a how to, why to fundraiser live a couple of days ago that, that kind of walks people through it. Yep. Yep. And the, and the worksheets to go along with it. Too, and the worksheets so. to go along with it. Um, it sounds more complicated than it is. It, it is not complicated to do fundraising with Sensi. There aren't very many rules. Well, I want to say this very carefully. There's not very many rules as to what you can't or can do as far as fundraising with Sensi. Meaning, Sensi doesn't have a separate fundraising catalog. Sensi doesn't mandate or dictate how you run a fundraiser so long as you operate within the normal standards and compliance with Sensi for operating your business. But what I'm all of that to say, if I wanted to run a fundraiser for Tammy today and said, Tammy, go sell anything off this sheet to anybody, and I will give you 20% of what you sell back as a donation. That 20% is coming from my commission. Okay. Now, 
if I, I typically would make 25% commission on all of my sales, unless I sell more than 2000 in any given month, then my commission jumps up to 30%. I could offer the, I could offer Tammy 10% of her sales. I could offer Tammy 15% of her sales. I could offer Tammy 30% of her sales if she sells more than 2000. It's completely up to you as the consultant to determine how much of your commission you want to donate back for the fundraiser. In addition, it's totally up to you if you want to inflate the price on the item so that you can give more back to the organization. Think about when you buy wrapping paper as a fundraiser, you know you're going to spend a lot more on wrapping paper because it's part of a fundraiser than if you just went to the store and bought wrapping paper. Kind of the same thing with Scentsy. Now, I'm not saying, you know, we're not trying to price gouge and we're not trying to, to, to be unreasonable, but what we are doing is trying to get more, as much for the organization that we are helping fundraise, we're, we're, we're wanting to give back as much as we possibly can. Now, with all of that said, and I see you, Anna. So like I said in my example, I could run a fundraiser for Tammy that oh, that is this whole brochure. I could run a fundraiser for Tammy that is solely scent circles, period. And that's actually what I'm doing right now is running fundraisers with scent circles only. And Anna, what did you want to say? Uh, I had a, a question in the chat asking, how do you write that off on your taxes? Because that is one of the beautiful things about fundraising is that it's a tax write-off and I call, label it as marketing. My uh, tax professional tells me to choose uh, marketing as the, as the label for that. I'm not going to tell you how to do your taxes. So just for what it's worth, we call it marketing because it is marketing your business. That's how you're bringing new customers in. And that's how we justify it as marketing. Mm -hmm. And there will be some cases where whoever you're doing the fundraiser for, I've done many of these where the, the organization can actually give me a letter stating how much I donated. And it's a, you know, if they are a tax exempt or nonprofit or whatever, and I just turn that over to my CPA and then they categorize the, the donation accordingly. We are not tax experts, nor tax professionals, nor can we give tax advice, but just know that if you are going to be donating part of your commission for a fundraiser, it's up to you to make sure that you line item that amount and speak to whoever does your taxes on how they would like you to handle that particular write-off. Um, okay, we can talk more about fundraising probably on the page um, because we have a couple other things that we want to get to tonight. But again, watch Anna's live. We'll bump them to the top of the pages. Watch that. There's also, she has the materials that go along with running a scent circle fundraiser right now. And um, if you have any questions regarding fundraisers that come up, drop it underneath her video in the comments and we will take, a, we'll watch for those so that we can get those questions fielded for you. Okay. Um, be thinking, and this all, I, I'm mentioning this to you because it dawned on me today that I have to be thinking about preparing for back to school and teacher gifts and starting to promote people wanting a little back to school gift for their teachers, love on their teachers. We love teachers. We love teachers, right, Kristen? We love teachers. Right, Rachel? Um, right, Debbie? We love teachers. And speaking from experience, like Kristen and Debbie and Rachel and any of our other teachers on here, they love getting gifts. They, they really love getting gifts and feeling appreciated. And we have the ability to offer gifts to our customers for back to school. I don't know about you. I always give a gift to my, to my kids' teachers at the start of the school year. And so people will be in the mindset of thinking about back to school, put it in their brains that they might need a teacher gift and who better to get it from than you. Those teacher gifts can be anything that you might have on hand. If you don't have anything on hand, we will make sure to start sharing some ideas for teacher gifts on the Facebook pages. You do not have to have these items in stock to take 
orders for those gifts. So let's just say like in today's call graphic, I posted this particular picture. So this was in tonight's call graphic. Let me, let me uh, spotlight myself for one second so that you can see this bigger. Okay. Here is the picture. It is just a bottle of counter clean wrapped with an expo marker and a tag that says, hold, roses are red, apples are too, looking forward to a great school year with you. You could post this picture for your customers on your VIP pages, on your business pages, on your personal pages. You could post that picture and say, I'm taking pre-orders for teacher gifts. Let me know who wants one. And in this particular case, this gift would be $10, 10 maybe 11 so that you could charge 11 for it to account for your expo marker, your ribbon and your cellophane. Um, or you could charge 10. It's up to you. But you would say, I'm taking pre-orders, $10. Let me know how many you want. And I'm closing my pre-order on August 10th. Then you turn around and on August 10th, you take those orders and you put it in as a party for yourself and you order those products. So you do not have to have products on hand to be able to make teacher gifts. Like I said, we'll be posting teacher gift ideas and you'll be able to use those pictures to generate some uh, excitement, to, to generate some interest from your customers. And then remember, you don't have to have those products on hand. You can take orders for them. And once your, once your, your, your orders hit 200, because that's a qualifying party, you could put that in and order the products. So we're going to be talking, I just wanted to plug it. We're going to be talking about teacher gifts and back to school gifts a lot on the pages coming up. So when you start to see those things, you'll have a little bit of context as to why we're sharing those. In addition, fall gift sets and bundling, start thinking about it now. You don't want to be in the middle of October trying to plan out your fall gifting because by mid-October, we're going to start thinking about holiday gifting. So start thinking now about holiday gift sets. If you do any events or if you want to take orders for any holiday gift sets, things like that, we'll be sharing pictures of those items as well. Okay. That just gives you guys context. Okay. We have a few minutes left. I'm going to turn it over to Anna. She's going to close us out of bingo, which was our July community program, and then introduce you to August community program. Woo <laughs> okay. okay. Well, first, let's just remember that you also have a, a whole day left for our bonus round blackout bingo. Uh, so make sure that you get that done because you definitely want to get a bingo this month. We're going to draw for a prize once the month is out. So you got just a little bit more time. And speaking of people who have gotten bingos, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to people who got bingos since Sunday. I can't this see is it. the black, this is what we're talking about. This is the blackout bingo card for this week. So if you've seen it on the pages, this is what we're referring to. And make sure you use the link to claim your bingo at the end so that you go into the drawing, okay? So speaking of people who got a bingo, Amy Abdeshawn, Michelle Whalen, Wal Whalen, it's Whalen, isn't it? Okay, Michelle Whalen, Cindy Abraham, Charlene Alexander, and Melissa Sharma all got bingos this last week. So um, congratulations to you guys. Just wanted to give you a shout out on that. Um, but yes, you have just one more day to get that blackout bingo and you only had three days to do this and the blackout bingo card only has eight tasks on it so uh you can totally totally do this um don i'll post the link again so that way you don't miss lose it um so with all of that being done and said i noticed when you guys were doing the bingos because when you do your form you were uh letting us know what things that you did during the week to get your bingo and i noticed across the board there's one that you guys tend to skip over. And it's funny because I skip over the same thing myself a lot of the time. So Melissa and I started talking about what we wanted to do in August. And when it comes down to it, in August, all we are excited about is the incentive, right? We're so excited. We're so gung-ho to earn this trip. And when it comes down to earning the trip, it's a few things that are typical themes 
in what helps you get points. And one of those, well, one is sales. We know that, right? Um, one is getting new team members and helping them promote. Well, how do you get more sales? Well, you do parties and you do fundraisers and you do events, right? How do you do, how do you get parties and how do you get fundraisers and how do you do events? You talk to people, right? How do you get new team members? You talk to people. How do you help your team promote? You talk to people. And what are you guys skipping over in your bingo cards? Talking to people. <laughs> So we have a new program for you and it is called the high five challenge. And in the high five challenge, we're going to be talking to a lot of people. Okay. So for every five people that you talk to about joining your team, it's a high five for every five people that you talk to about hosting a party. It's a high five for every five people that you talk to about doing a fundraiser. It's a high five. Are you guys getting this? Uh, Promoting LTOs, talk to five people for a high five. Follow up with your customers, talk to five people for a high five. You guys can totally do this, all right? And we're gonna do, we're gonna keep track of all of this with a little form that I made to help keep everything together. I did make one form where you could keep track of the people that you talked to. And I did make one form where you could keep track of all your high fives. Now, caveat, I don't wanna see you getting all your high fives from doing follow-up and saying, How's that order that you had? I want you actually doing all of these different things because that's what's going to make your business strong. And so uh, you're going to see that on the tracking form in just a second. I'm going to show you guys. So this is to help you broaden what it is that makes our business so strong. And it's going to encourage you to have a lot of conversations. So you'll have the opportunity to get five high fives in each topic. All right. Now think about this. If you talk to, if you get five high fives in joining, that means you talk to five people five times. You ask 25 people to join your team. If you get five high fives from asking people to host, that means you talk to 25 people. So if you, if you get all these different high fives, you've talked to a lot of people over the course of a month. This is not happening every week. This is happening all month long, okay? So let's hop over to a screen share really quick and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay. Uh, there it is. Okay. This is the high five challenge, you guys. Um, there's your logo. And here's how you're going to track your conversations. You can print this off as many times as you like. Um, this is also going to be in a board if that's more convenient to you. Okay. I tried to put it in two different ways. We've had a lot of situations where um, you'd rather have things in Canva or you'd rather have things in board so you have them in both places. Now, a reminder, says up here, one high five equals five conversations per topic. So we want you to meet new people. We want you to follow up with customers. We want you talking about club. We want you talking about hosting. We want you talking about joining, fundraisers, LTOs, coaching. If you're coaching your downline, well, this is a perfect time to be doing club, you guys, with every 55 cents leaving next month. This is the perfect time. This So this is how you'll track who you've talked to. These are where you're going to track your high fives. Tier one of high five is just earning high, five high fives. Not all in one topic. You could ask five people to join, five people to host, meet five new people, five people to do a fundraiser, ask five people to join club, and you've earned turn, tier one. Okay. Tier one's five high fives, tier two is 15 high fives, and tier three is 25 high fives. All right? Do you think you can earn 25 high fives in a month? That's a lot of people. That's 125 people that you talk to over the course of a month. I even made you cute little, you can drag these into place even. So those are draggable. That'll be fun. Um, so, and there's a little how to, cause I don't want to make it too hard on you. There's examples on how I fill it out there. And then there's even graphics that you can share when you've earned each of the tiers in your high fives. And Melissa and I got together and we'll do this all month long. We made some scripting for you because sometimes the hard part is not knowing what to say. And so we've given you four examples in a lot of the different topics of how to ask someone to host or how to ask somebody to join your team, because knowing what to say is 
If that's what's stopping you from doing the things, we don't want that to stop you from doing the things anymore. So anyways, that is the gist of it. We'll do more of it as we jump in on the first, but I'm really excited to push you in something that makes you a little uncomfortable and remind me about what makes um, my own business magical. So And here's the thing. Don't let it be confusing because even when Anna grazes over it for me, I'm like, wait, how many conversations and how many high fives and I'm confused and pie pieces and talk to five people. Listen, just one thing. Just talk to five people. Just talk to five people about all of the different topics. And once you've talked to five, talk to five more. That conversation is everything this coming month. Conversation is how things get, how things happen. That's where we see results and where you focus is where you see results. So we are just going to be high-fiving all over the place in the month of August. Now, this is the community, the community sponsored program. This is not Sensi wide. This is only right here in our little bubble, our little world that we are doing this high five challenge. It is only meant to help you. What we've learned in doing these community programs is that they're not one size fits all. Do they apply to everybody? Yes. Every single consultant can can participate in these community-wide programs, but it's not one size fits all. Some of you, and I'm looking at a few of you on the screen, I won't, I'll just point and whistle, love to be challenged, love to be challenged. And these types of things fuel you. And you are driven by having something to work toward and something to accomplish. And for some of you, you're saying, I just don't even know where to start to work my business. And this program is for you too, is to say, all we want you to do is talk to people next month. Talk to you. This is not to confuse you, not to to distract you away from trying to earn the incentive trip. All of this works together in helping you earn the incentive trip by giving you a 30-day community little program where we'll be talking about it every single day in our pages and cheering for each other and shouting each other out and providing ideas and scripting. And it just gives us our own little fun program that we get to do together. Anna. I just wanted to say this. Someone asked in the in the conversation in the chat, do co- do texts and messenger chats count if the person messages back with you? Absolutely. And I will tell you, as somebody who didn't want to talk to people, was terrified to talk to people, ha- was a certified consultant for two years, if your conversations need to start from behind a screen in order to build the confidence within you, fine. I think that's great. Have those conversations in text. Have those conversations in messenger until you get to the point where it comes out much more easily in person. Build your confidence in that way. And I'm telling you that we're doing this because a lot you'll see a lot of Sensi working on active in August. I promise you active will happen if you're doing these things. Yes. You won't you don't even have to think about that stuff. Everything comes from having conversations. The more that you're sharing the product, the more that you're sharing parties, the more that you're sharing the opportunity, the more that you're sharing what you're able to give back, that's how you're going to build your business. And so do the things, the rest of the things will come. This is at its root, what you need in order to be successful. Okay. Yep. So we are not trying to distract you away from anything. If anything, we're trying to drive you into making all of the things happen. And like anything in life, you get out of, you get out of it, what you put into it. So we can offer things all day long. And if you don't participate or you choose not to participate, that's fine. It's not mandatory, but the the results that you see or don't see will be as such. So we are saying, come along with us. We're going to be doing a lot of high fiving in August. And that's after we finish shouting out all of our bingos for July. You guys are the best. Rand, would you like to be Mary Poppins this evening? Always, always, always. Okay, here we go. A lot of names on here. We had a really large turnout tonight on Zoom, and I kind of am going to say I'm pumped about it. Okay, well, this is exciting. Taylor, R. (laughs) Taylor, this was your day today, Taylor. This is awesome, yeah. That's awesome. 
Just make sure you send me your information so I can send you a prize. Yep. Send her a private message that has your name and your mailing address, and she will drop something in the mail to you. So that's awesome. You guys, thank you so, so much for those of you that can attend cubicle tomorrow. Oh, you forgot to show that. I didn't show you this. I didn't show you this. Okay. We're excited. Stay on with us for just two more seconds. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. Oh, you want me to do it? (laughs) Yeah. Just show really quick for sizing. Show really quick for sizing. I just wanted to show you this. So the new Sensi, so the Sensi Go is now going to be called the Sensi Go Plus. That's the Sensi Go Solid is now going to be called Sensi Go Plus. However, we have a new Sensi Go and it looks like this and it's cute and it actually takes two AA batteries and it is like the size of a Coke can. It's adorable and it still holds two pods. We're still trying to decide how long does a pack of batteries work in this, but two batteries or you can plug it in and it works while it's plugged in. That's the difference between this and the Sensi Go Plus is that it has a rechargeable battery. So um, that's a new item that you'll see in the catalog. This is going to be $35 versus the Sensi Go Solid, which will be $45. So there's that. And then the other thing I... Because the SFR was my incentive trip, I got one of these. A few other of others of you did as well. But um, this is the new Sensi Air, and it's amazing. Look at the size of this guy. The fan in the bottom is like good sized fan. Like those blades are like substantial, and it's awesome because it's got three different settings and the speed of the fan. Um, so you can choose that. It's got a timer for how long you want it to be on. You probably, I don't know if you can hear that or not. Um, And then there's also the light on it too. So you can turn it on with a light. This has got like a flickering mode. You can click it again. It'll cycle through the colors kind of like our diffusers do. You can choose a single color just like on our diffusers. Um, But I tell you, this guy is how we're full. If you weren't at SFR and experienced these in the scent rooms, um, I'm blown away. (laughs) No pun intended, blown away by these guys, but it really does put out a lot of fragrance. And I think that we're going to be selling an awful lot of pods at $10 a pop. I'm excited about that uh, for these. So there's that as fast as I could. (laughs) Awesome. Thank you for our product showcase. Thank you, Jack and Nana for our sniff session, hot man and a pumpkin. Nobody's going to forget it. And thank you so much, you guys, for tuning in. We appreciate you so much. Let's go. Finish July strong and then get ready to rock August. We will see some of you, all of you, most of you, whoever can on Cubicle tomorrow. It will be posted. The information will be posted for Cubicle on the pages in enough time for you to join us. Okay. Thanks, guys. Have a great evening.